Hi, I'm Veda. It's very nice to meet you. So you're here for the consult and haircut for curly hair today? Okay, perfect. Do you mind if I just get started by taking a look at your hair? Okay, let me just come in a little closer. Okay. You have beautiful hair. It looks very healthy. Definitely see your wave pattern. Do you have any product in your hair right now? Okay. And what kind of shampoo and conditioner do you use? Okay. Would you say you have any problem areas such as frizz or sort of undefined hair in any parts. Okay, and we can talk about some products too. You have nice long hair too, so that gives us a lot of options for what we can do today. sort of emphasize your natural curl pattern. Did you have anything in mind that you were interested in? Okay. Yeah, I have plenty of examples, so we can go through those and I can sort of give my input on what I think would look best on you too. Alright, let me just grab my chart here. So, I don't know how much you know about um, wave and curl types, so generally I just start at the very beginning. If uh, you already know all this, just let me know. We can skip ahead, okay? So I have a curl chart here, and it has wavy, curly, and kinky hair types on it. So this is pretty much how we classify your hair type, and that can sort of help in finding products and ways to care for your hair. It can also help in searching for haircuts. So, for instance, if you have 2B hair, you might search for 2B haircuts so that you can see what it would actually look like on somebody with your hair type. So, let's just take a look here. So, the first type your twos are going to be wavy. As you can see here, we have 2A, which has very, very little wave. Just a slight wave to it. Then we have 2B, which is just a bit more wave, so starting to get a little bit more. And then 2C, where it's quite wavy, okay? So 2C is going to be pretty wavy. Then we move on to the threes, which are your curly types. So we have 3A, which is the beginning of sort of that corkscrew curl. Note the twos were just a wave. Now we're actually getting into a curl. 3B is a tighter corkscrew. So if you can see, it's just a bit tighter here. And 3C is a pretty tight curl. Just a tighter curl here. Now, four is going to be your kinky hair types. So, 4A is generally still a curl, but it's going to be very, very tight. These hair types, you're going to see more shrinkage. So, when, um, when it dries, it's going to look quite a bit shorter. 4B is more of like a kinky curl, so it's almost a zigzag type of pattern. And 4C is going to be the tightest curl pattern, so it's a very tight, sort of kinky zigzag. Now, to give you a better example on actual people, 
I have this chart. So as you can see here, 2A, we have this lovely long hair with just a slight bend in it. This could easily be straightened to be straight hair. But we have just sort of a slight wave. It could also be enhanced for more curly hair with product. It just depends. 2B, we have a more pronounced wave. So as you can see, it gets into more of that sort of zigzag pattern. But it's a very light bend. Not like one of the fours. Okay, so kind of my hair is a little bit more 2C, 2B, excuse me, as an example. And then we have the 2C, which is this beautiful, just more tight wave. So the waves are going to be a little bit smaller and tighter throughout. Now we come down into your 3s. So for 3A, we see these beautiful, bigger corkscrew curls. A lot of volume usually. 3B, you're going to again have these corkscrews, but they're tighter. So I would say these are about the size of a marker, like a dry erase marker. These are about the size of like a sharpie. And then for 3C, you're getting into corkscrews that are about the size of a pencil, so the width of a pencil. See, they're quite a bit tighter here. It's going to be a lot of volume, a little bit more shrinkage. And now for your fours. You see, we have these very, very tight corkscrew curls. It's absolutely beautiful. A lot of volume again. For B, we're getting into more of that kink. So less of the corkscrew and more of a zigzag pattern. And then for C, it's going to be very zigzaggy. So, no longer that corkscrew, it really is just a zigzag, tight zigzag. Okay. So, these are the hair types, and you can have a mixture of different ones. So, for example, I sometimes have a few ringlets here and there, so that would fall into the three category, but I'm mostly in the two category, falling around roughly a 2B. For your hair, I would put you at a 2C, so more so wavy than curly, but you can still benefit from some of the curly hair care tips. Okay. Um, have you heard of the curly girl method? Okay. Well, it's usually not the best for your type of hair, just so that you don't fall into that pitfall. It can be very, very helpful for people with type 3 and type 4 hair. That is avoiding silicones and sulfates, but for your hair, some of the products tend to weigh it down. So um, we'll talk about what we can do with your hair. Okay. Now, here are some examples of some haircuts. So we do have these longer ones, so you wouldn't have to lose too much length. And this very long, it's sort of all one length hair with a few long face framing layers in the front, so you can kind of see here. She has those long face framing layers with um, mostly one length hair. And I would say she has about a 2B hair type, so this could be suitable for you. Then we have this one, which is sort of similar. We're just seeing some slightly shorter layers up around the top to emphasize that curl. She's in the 3 range, but this would be suitable for your hair type as well. So you see you keep a lot of this length, and um, we have these sort of face framing pieces that are a bit shorter. And then around the top here, we have some shorter layers just to give you some volume. And then the last one on this page, long hair. We have this very long hair. Again, mostly one length. She has those face framing layers, and it does look like she has some long layers. So, kind of her shorter layer is here, and then the longest layer is going to be down here. So she does have some longer layers. You can see that the longer the hair is, Generally, the more stretched out your wave is going to be. 
So if you want your wave to be tighter and more defined, we need shorter layers. Just depends on what you want. Uh, for example, here's the exact opposite. These are shag haircuts. So you're still maintaining length, but you have very short layers in order to show some of that volume, really bring out your pattern. These happen to have bangs up here, uh, but you can do it with or without the bang. The real hallmark of the shag haircut is the wave, um, the layers in your waves. Shag haircut can also be called wolf cut. That's sort of like the new name for it, another name for it. I don't know if you've heard of that. But if you look here, we can see she has the long layers, but then she has shorter here, and even her shortest layer looks like it's up to here. And then, she, of course, she has the bangs. This one as well. We can see she has the long layer, but then shorter layer here, shortest layer even up to here around where her bangs are. And down here, this one's a little bit less dramatic. We have a long cut here with some shorter layers here, here, and even up to here with a long bang. So her bang falls around her chin, her jaw, and you see she kind of side parts it like a curtain bang. That could look really pretty on you. And then the last one for the shag haircut is a little bit shorter. See, it's about my length actually. And then we have these shorter layers coming up through. So she has a layer about here. It's like there's one up here. She has these curtain bangs as well coming down. And this is going to give a lot of lift to the crown and a lot of volume and bring out more of your wave. So versus these ones that were kind of stretched out, this is going to be more voluminous, more wavy. And then we have something in the middle here. Okay. This is sort of in the middle where we do sort of a rounded look, really avoiding. One thing we're trying to avoid is sort of a triangle look that you can get if you have all one length hair. Your hair can kind of puff out at the bottom and give your head sort of a triangle shape and most people don't find that super appealing so we try to avoid that but as you look here you can see she has the long length and then some layers coming down to here as well this is not so much a shag it's more like a rounded cut because she doesn't have those short layers and she also has those face framing pieces around the jaw this one is quite a bit longer she gets all that length, and her layers are longer as well. So she does have layers in her hair. It's not like the one length we were seeing before, but these are longer layers. And again, around the face, we have these face framing pieces. And these last two, just a bit shorter. So this is sort of a long bob. A lot of one length, but she does have some longer layers in there. And again, the sort of face framing pieces. And then this last one is very similar. So again, it's sort of a long bob with some longer layers, but she does have some shorter pieces around the front that go roughly below her cheekbone, really sort of emphasize the face shape. That could look really pretty on you as well. Okay. Now, where does your comfort zone lie? What do you think? Um, what seems most appealing to you in terms of length? Do you want to keep your length? Okay. Yeah, we can definitely um, keep most of your length and then just layer it up a little bit to give you some more definition. Um, do you like the idea of sort of that all long bohemian stretched look? Or did you like the more um, sort of shaped, voluminous wave? Okay, and D, 
did you want to go the route of, say, a shack, or were you more interested? Okay, so a little more subtle than that, maybe some longer layers. And how about around the face? I would love to do some face framing pieces that maybe hit right around your, the hollows of your cheeks. I think that would make you look absolutely stunning. Yeah, so let's get started on that. I am just going to do a dry cut um, because we can see the pattern of your hair right now. So I generally do a dry cut and then we'll shampoo you. I'll bring you back in style, okay? Alright, I'm just going to do a little bit of brushing. through a little bit here. So have you ever had a curly haircut before? No. I know, it's a little different, huh? It's not super typical to have um, your hair cut dry, is it? No, I promise it'll come out really nice. Do you straighten your hair ever? So I'll make sure that um, the cut that we do will look good straight as well, so it's not going to look all jagged or anything if you do decide to straighten your hair. We'll make sure it looks good no matter what. Okay. What do you do for work? Oh, that sounds fun. Do you like it? It's okay. Yeah. A job's a job, right? Well, that's exciting that you get to work from home at least. I think I would like that, but I don't know if I would like having a studio outside of my house, inside my house. brush that through. That did take a little bit of your wave pattern out, but I can still see enough of it that uh, we know where to cut, okay? I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna start taking little snips. Come around back. married? Oh, yeah. Well, that's exciting. How many dates have you been on so far? Wow. So it's getting a little bit serious, huh? Oh, 
yeah, I've been married for, um, well, it'll be six years this May. No kids, though. No. Just pets. I have a dog and two cats. No, I'm sorry. Three cats. <laughs> I forget we got a new kitten recently. He's very cute. Do you have any pets? Oh, what kind? Any kids? No, maybe someday. <laughs> yeah, especially if this relationship keeps going well, right? So, what do you like to do outside of work? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've been meaning to actually try that place, but, um, I just, the schedule doesn't work with what I'm, let me get this face here, the schedule doesn't really work with my schedule, I really want to try their aerial yoga, have you tried it? Yeah, is it, um, so I'm more of a beginner, do you think it would be really hard for a beginner, or, uh, do you have to do the beginner classes first? No, you think you could probably kind of get right into it? I'll have to try it sometime. I know um, they recently changed their schedule. I know they have a Saturday class now, but it just books up so fast. Do you ever go to that one? Yeah. Maybe we'll see each other there sometime. Okay. I'm just gonna brush a little bit more, okay? with this. I think it's already really bringing out your wave pattern. When you, um, when you style your hair, do you go more for volume or definition? Okay. Yeah. Well, we can sort of talk about how to do either one when we style. That's looking really good already. I didn't have to take off much length at all because um, your ends are looking really good. There we go. Okay. Let's see if those layers look even. That looks really good. I'm just going to cut a little bit more, okay? Tried any of the local restaurants in the area? Any favorites? Oh, I love that place. I 
like their hand pies. That's my favorite thing on the menu. Yeah, it's really good. Especially when um, crab is in season, but I don't mind eating it out of season, though. I really don't. It just comes frozen anyway. It tastes just as good to me, but I know some people prefer to eat it only when it's in season. Have you tried their fried rice? Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really flavorful. Um, pretty salty, so if you like salt, I think you'd like it, but it is quite salty. really good. Why don't we go ahead and take you over to the bowl, get you washed up, and then I can style it and see if it needs any touch-ups, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm going to style your hair with a curl cream. So this is going to give you some definition and a little bit of volume and it'll reduce some frizz, so it really does everything. This one's from JVN, but you can really use any curl cream. Just go ahead and... about that much should be good. If I can get the top back on here. So then I just sort of disperse that between my hands. And then through your hair it goes. It smells really I love the smell. Okay. That blended through there. Now, if you want more clumps, so if you're trying to get really defined, almost curl clumps, do this on very wet hair. And if you want more volume, you can do it on hair that's not as wet. So we towel dried a little bit. So you're sort of going to be fine, like a midpoint, more volume. But there will still be definition. Okay. Alright. Just give you a little bit more. You have nice thick hair. Another little dollop. It's not one of those things where um, it's super easy to use too much. So you should be just fine. And then if you do happen to use what you think is a little too much, it can get a little bit crunchy, but that's actually not a bad thing. That's sort of like a cast, like you would get with gel. And you can scrunch that out really easily. Okay, so I have that all dispersed through. Now I'm going to scrunch your hair. And we're just encouraging those waves to form. Crunching your hair. Okay. There we go. Let's wipe my hands off. And then you can either let it air dry or you can diffuse it. So I have a diffuser here, so blow dryer. This is a nice big diffuser, and you can hover around your head and hover dry a little bit. 
to reduce some frizz or you can sort of put your hair in the bowl and squish it up and that's going to encourage more wave, more curl, okay? So I'm going to hover diffuse just around your head a little bit and it's very quiet, so don't worry, it's not very some of your hair and scrunch it up. Okay. So, you'll feel it's still a little bit damp should do now is let it dry the rest of the way and then when it's done drying it might feel a little bit crunchy. What I want you to do is take some of these. This is an oil and you can just put it on your hands. I'll do a little bit for you right now so just put it on your hands. Really just about that much will do. You don't want your hair to look oily. Distribute it. And then I'm going to do a little bit to your hair. Generally, you wouldn't do this until it's totally dry. But your hair is dry enough that it'll be okay. And you're going to scrunch those curls. So scrunching up like this. Scrunch those curls. And that's called scrunching out the crunch. So that breaks that cast on your hair It makes it look nice and voluminous and soft and not like spaghetti So I know we've kind of all seen those like spaghetti curls where it almost looks like ramen noodles That's not what we want So you have to make sure to scrunch out the crunch and break that cast You're not going to get so much of a cast with this but if you incorporate a gel which you totally could for more hold then you're going to get more of a cast and you always want to scrunch it out, okay? Alright So we just take a final look at your hair here I think it looks amazing Okay, we go ahead and look in the mirror What do you think? Okay, awesome, alright If you have any questions about how I styled it or any products, you can give me a text, okay? Um, so this was the styling cream. I'm gonna actually send you home with this because this is just a sample size, so you can go home with it. And then any oil is gonna be fine. Well, not any oil. Um, any hair oil, I should say. This is the JVN one. I like this one, but any hair oil is going to be fine, but don't use it too heavily handedly Just sort of sparingly to break up that cast That way your hair doesn't look oily Okay Do you have any questions or anything? Okay, well, I'm so glad that you like it and Really glad that we could talk about curls today And when you're ready for a touch-up, I'll be here I recommend coming in every six weeks or so, just to maintain the shape. Or if you're seeing that it's just not curling up the way you like, it might mean you need a trim of some of those ends, okay? Alright. Well, 
I will see you again soon, and I hope you have a great day.